HMS Ark Royal was an aircraft carrier of the British Royal Navy that served during the Second World War. Designed in 1934, Ark Royal was built in Birkenhead, England, launched in April of 1937 and completed in November of 1938. Her design differed from previous aircraft carriers in that she was the first ship on which the hangars and flight deck were an integral part of the hull, rather than an add-on or a part of the superstructure, and she was designed to carry a large number of aircraft in two hangar deck levels. She served during a period that first saw the extensive use of naval air power, and as a result, several carrier tactics were developed and refined aboard Ark Royal. At 800 foot long, she was designed to carry up to 72 aircraft, utilising new technology such as steam catapults for launching aircraft and arrestor gear for landings, so as to maximise available space for hangars and aircraft flight preparations. However, since her design in 1934, aircraft had become bigger and heavier, so ultimately she would put to sea with between 50 and 60 aircraft, comprising of Blackburn Skewer, Fairy Swordfish, Blackburn Rock, Fairy Fulmar, Fairy Albacore and Supermarine Walrus. Enemy aircraft were deemed to be her biggest threat, so she was fitted with 16 4.5 inch dual purpose guns, 8 on each side of the hull, 6 8 barreled 1.57 inch guns located on the flight deck and 8 4 barreled 0.50 inch machine guns to the front and rear of the flight deck. With the outbreak of World War II in September of 1939, Ark Royal was immediately pressed into action. Initially, as part of a hunter-killer group, she was used to help counter the threat of U-boats in the Atlantic, her aircraft being able to cover a much wider area than ships alone. But it didn't take too long for the Admiralty to realise that as well as being a useful asset in hunting subs, carriers were far too tempting and valuable a target for U-boats, and following some near misses, she was pulled from this role. The following two years were spent supporting operations in the North Atlantic, in the South Atlantic off the coast of Africa, the North Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. And it was in the Mediterranean Sea that she would have her final voyage. On the 10th of November 1941, Ark Royal was ferrying aircraft to Malta before returning to her base in Gibraltar. There had been warnings of U-boats off the Spanish coast and a reminder had been sent to the carrier force to be vigilant. Also at sea was Friedrich Guggenberger's U-81 U-boat submarine, which had received a report that the carrier force was returning to Gibraltar. Ark Royal would be a prize target for the U-boat commander. On the 13th of November at 1540, the sonar operator aboard the accompanying destroyer HMS Legion detected an unidentified sound, but assumed it was the propellers of a nearby destroyer. And one minute later, Ark Royal was struck amidships by a torpedo directly below the bridge island. The explosion caused Ark Royal to shake, hurling loaded torpedo bombers into the air, and killed 44-year-old able seaman Edward Mitchell. He was the only man to die in the attack. A 130 by 30 foot hole was blown open on the ship's bottom on the starboard side below the waterline. The damage caused flooding in the starboard boiler room, main switchboard, oil tanks and over 106 feet of the ship's starboard bilge. The starboard powertrain was also knocked out, causing the rear half of the ship to lose power, while communications were severed throughout the entire ship. On the bridge, Captain Morn ordered the engines to full stop, but because the communications were down, he had to send a runner to the engine room. The ship's continued motion enlarged the hole in the hull, and by the time Ark Royal had stopped, she had taken on a huge amount of water and begun to list to starboard, reaching an angle of 18 degrees within 20 minutes. Considering the list of the carrier, and the fact that other carriers including HMS Courageous and HMS Glorious had sunk rapidly with heavy loss of life, Captain Morn gave the order to abandon ship. The crew were assembled on the flight deck to determine who would remain on board to try to save the ship, while HMS Legion came alongside to take off the rest. As a result of the evacuation order, comprehensive damage control measures were not initiated until 49 minutes after the attack, meaning that the flooding had spread unchecked, exacerbated by covers and hatches left open during the evacuation of the lower decks. Water spread to the centerline boiler room, which started to flood from below, and power to the whole ship was lost when the boiler room uptakes became choked. Ark Royal had no backup diesel generators. 
After a while, the carrier was appearing to stabilise, and in a determined effort to save Ark Royal, damage control parties were ordered back to the carrier, and they were successful in relighting a boiler, restoring power to the bilge pumps. The destroyer, HMS Lefori, came alongside to provide power and additional pumps, while Swordfish aircraft from Gibraltar flew overhead to supplement anti-submarine patrols. A tugboat, HMT Thames, arrived from Gibraltar at 20 hundred hours and attached a tow line to Ark Royal, but by now the flooding had caused the ship to list more severely and rising water had reached the boiler room floor that ran the whole width of the ship, and this forced a shutdown of the restored boiler. By 0230, the following morning, the 14th of November, the list had reached 20 degrees, and when abandoned ship was again declared at 0400, the list had reached 27 degrees. Ark Royal's crew had been evacuated to HMS Legion by 0430, and except for able seaman Edward Mitchell, there had been no fatalities. When the list had reached 45 degrees, Ark Royal capsized and sank at 0619 on the 14th of November, 1941. Witnesses reported the carrier rolling to 90 degrees, where she remained for three minutes before finally turning over. Ark Royal then broke in two, the aft sinking within a couple of minutes, followed by the bow. Following the sinking, a board of inquiry was established to investigate the loss, and based on its findings, Captain Lobin Maund was court-martialed in February of 1942 for negligence. He was found guilty on two counts. One, of failing to ensure that properly constituted damage control parties had remained on board after the general evacuation, and one, of failing to ensure the ship was in a sufficient state of readiness to deal with possible damage. However, the board tempered their judgement with an acknowledgement that a high standard was being expected of Mourne, and that he was primarily concerned with the welfare of his crew. The Board of Inquiry closed its report with the observation that Ark Royal had sunk 22 nautical miles east of Europa Point, the southernmost tip of Gibraltar. Thanks very much for watching. To support this channel, please consider subscribing, not forgetting to hit the notification bell to ensure you receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.